Today, we're making deer decor from Dollar Tree. Keep watching. We're gonna start off with this deer piece of Christmas decor. You can get it in silver or gold, but I've chosen gold. Just gonna remove the tags in the hanger. And we're gonna need two of these signs that you can get at Dollar Tree. They are wooden signs. Gonna use my sanding block and just sand off where I have removed the stickers. We're going to use the white sides on the outside so the decor, the decorative part will be on the inside. So when I had a mind to do this, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to put my deer's little feet in there to hold them up. I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue just to keep them in place while I put down my other glue. So I'm using some wood glue here and I'm just gonna brush some of that on on both pieces. I'm going to leave some space in between to use the hot glue. I'm not mixing the two adhesives, I'm just putting them just randomly in little spots. Press these together. Now I've used a clamp here and I've used a piece of paper underneath to keep my clamp from making marks on my boards. You're going to let that dry for 24 hours before you remove the clamps. To give it some extra security, I've used short staples and my staple gun and gone around the ends and the bottom. You can go back over this with some white chalk paint if you'd like, but I didn't. They can see there on the hoof, it's chipped off a little bit. Not gonna be a problem because I'm gonna have an arrangement down there and it'll cover it up. This is rather, I want to say floppy. It's not very um, sturdy. Maybe when you do this, you could put two deer together. I'm not sure. But my way of remedying this and having it stand upright is to use these building blocks or these um, tower, tumbling tower blocks that came from Dollar Tree. You get them in a box in the children's section, in the toys section. I'm going to use that and a little bit of wood glue and a little bit of hot glue on the bottom to secure the legs of the deer so that the body will stand upright. This is going to be a one-sided sign, but you could certainly do both sides if you wanted to put it as a centerpiece or something like that. For me, this was good enough. It's going to be on a shelf, most likely, so only one side will be shown. going to sandwich the deer's legs between these 
and hold them so that the hot glue will sit up and give that wood glue some time to set up as well. I have some clamps that I got from the like the laundry section or the home section of Dollar Tree and I use them for quite a bit of projects and they work nicely for this. You can use whatever type of clamp that you want. You just want to be sure that you give that plenty of time because it would be a shame to spend all that time getting the base and everything together and then snapping off one of those legs. That would be terrible. So I'm just going to slide that block down just a little bit so that I can hide it behind the leg a little better. So now he's standing upright a little bit better. I'm going to clamp that on and let that hot glue dry. Now it's time for the floral area. I'm going to use one side of it and I'm going to use just this scrap of foam that came from I think one of my Amazon packages. It was thin enough to sit here so I'm hot gluing it down. You can put another piece sandwiched on the other side if you'd like for a little extra support. And certainly if you're going to decorate both sides, you'll need a piece of foam on the back side as well. These are some pieces of greenery that I picked out of some clearance. They were like little pots last year at the at-home store. They were 39 cents, I think, so I got several of the little pots. Now I'm removing my clamp so I have a little more room to put in my greenery. I'm just giving it a little run to see if this is how I want it to look, and I think this will work. So a little hot glue will keep this all pretty much in place, both in the foam and to the, the base there. And I do have some chalk paint on my hand from another project, so I was trying to get a lot done. We have a birthday Halloween party coming up and family coming for the weekend, so I was trying to get a couple of these videos done it all at once. Now you see I pulled the foam up. I do actually fix that, but I edited it out somehow. But I did glue it back down. You want to be sure that you have everything secure there so it's not falling apart. Just want to play around and see what kind of height you want, how wide you want it to be. I wanted this arrangement to be rather low and wide so that I can still see my deer. That's what the focus is going to be, is the deer. These frosted or snowy picks, they're so pretty. And I knew that I wanted to use them for something this year for Christmas. If you don't have something that you've thrifted or pieces that you've already had you can certainly take pieces from the Dollar Tree they have lots of gorgeous picks and you can use those you can flock some old Christmas tree branches if you'd like and use an old wreath and just clip pieces off of that however you however you want to do this just make it your own any color thing that you like. I prefer a more rustic look. 
so that's why mine looks like this. But you do whatever you like. The arrangement cost me very little money. The longest time it took was just allowing that wood glue to dry. Otherwise, it was an easy project to do for the results that I, I think that we got. Remember what I've said in other videos, be sure that you take a good look from all angles and see if you have any spaces that need a little something else. And if you do, just go ahead and add that in. Here's an example of that. There's a little spot that needs a little something extra. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue and fill in that spot. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you like this project, that you'll try something with one of these gear decor pieces. I'm not the biggest fan of glitter, but it looked very nice with this piece, I think. Thanks for stopping by and watching. I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to make gorgeous, inexpensive decor, consider subscribing. I'll see you again soon. Bye.